We live in a world where batteries are everywhere, powering every device and connecting us to a power source. We bet that the battery is powering the device you're using to watch this video right now. So what if your phone or computer only needed to be recharged once every week or even every month? More importantly, EVs that currently have a range of under 300 miles could potentially increase to 500, 700, or even 900 miles on a single charge in under 20 minutes, something Elon Musk is actively seeking. But it seems Elon might have found it, as these four new battery technologies could potentially change Tesla forever, or more precisely, transform the entire electric vehicle industry. So what are these battery technologies? 1. Solid-state battery When you search on any platform for cutting-edge battery technologies with the potential to revolutionize the electric vehicle industry, solid-state batteries consistently come up as a top result. It's no coincidence that Toyota confidently believes they'll have electric vehicles capable of traveling 700 or even 900 miles within the next three years. Clearly, a conventional lithium-ion battery cannot achieve those numbers, not even Tesla's 4680, which still seems like a distant dream. So, what exactly are solid-state batteries? What are their advantages and disadvantages? And why might Elon Musk consider using them for Tesla's electric vehicles? Obviously, solid-state batteries are still a strange concept for many people. You may think that this is an extremely complicated and confusing battery technology, but no, we believe that 100% of you will understand what a solid-state battery is with our short and simple explanation. In any battery cell, there's four main components, the anode, cathode, separator, and then the electrolyte. However, while a conventional lithium-ion battery uses a liquid electrolyte between electrodes, a solid-state battery uses a solid electrolyte. To put it simply, think of it like a sandwich. A conventional lithium-ion battery is like a sandwich with a liquid filling in the middle, whereas a solid-state battery is like a sandwich with solid ingredients like eggs, meat, and veggies in the middle. That's the essence of a solid-state battery. So why do we need a solid electrolyte instead of a liquid electrolyte? Clearly, when you place a liquid in the middle of anything, over time, it's going to evaporate or leak, right? The same thing happens with lithium-ion batteries, though at a lower rate. However, when it does occur, it can lead to costly consequences, like having to replace a battery pack costing thousands of dollars, or even worse, having your car catch on fire. The liquid electrolyte in traditional lithium-ion batteries is often a flammable organic solvent. When battery gets damaged, the rising temperature can cause this liquid electrolyte to leak from the battery cells and ignite, leading to the risk of short-circuiting and explosions. Yikes! For example, some incidents of phone and electric vehicle fires related to lithium-ion batteries have been due to the flammable electrolyte catching on fire. But on the other hand, scientists and energy research companies have found solid electrolytes to solve the problem of liquid leakage. Specifically, a solid electrolyte placed between the anode and cathode will be a non-liquid material such as ceramics, sulfides, polymers, plastics, and glass composites. Because it cannot leak out after an accident or evaporate to the outside, solid-state batteries are safer. The use of solid electrolytes makes these batteries almost impossible to catch fire or explode. Therefore, they're more suitable for use in safety-related appliances, such as electric vehicles and drones, at least in theory. So, apart from being many times safer than conventional lithium-ion batteries, what about energy density, charging and discharging time, cost and manufacturing? Are solid-state batteries really that much better? Now, let's discuss the energy density and range that solid-state batteries can offer to EVs, because that's what customers really want to know, is how far their electric vehicle can go on a solitary charge. It's no coincidence that Toyota claims their EVs will achieve an additional 20-50% to 50 range, and solid-state batteries are indeed a major factor behind this claim. Solid states stand out with their superior weight and energy density compared to other types of batteries, like traditional lithium ions. With an energy density of nearly 500 watt-hours a kilo, solid states significantly surpass the 250 watt-hour a kilo of traditional lithium ions, even doubling that figure. This allows for much greater energy storage with the same weight. This is particularly important for Tesla and other automakers where both weight and performance are big-time factors. First, we thought that switching to solid electrolytes might make this battery technology heavier, but turns out we were wrong. Solid states are actually lighter and offer more space to improve energy density. On top of that, in terms of the volumetric energy density, solid state batteries can get up to 1200 watt hours a liter, compared to 700 watt hours a liter for traditional ones. Tesla and Elon have not yet achieved the 400 mile range for their EVs, and the company's been continuously seeking new battery technologies for years with limited progress. The recently launched 4680 new gen battery provides only a slight increase in range. Therefore, solid states are likely to be the next breakthrough for Tesla from our list of new battery technologies.
Toyota is confident that their first generation solid states will achieve a 700 mile range, with later generations getting up to 900 miles. Given Tesla's superior battery production experience and electric vehicle technology compared to that of Toyota's, if solid state batteries end up in Elon's hands, it's hard to predict what's going to happen. So, is the charging time of solid state batteries really fast enough? With Tesla supercharging stations, you can charge up to 80% of a 2170 battery in somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes. For the 4680, charging from 10 to 80% only takes around 25 minutes. According to QuantumScape data, their batteries can charge up to 80% capacity in only 15 minutes. The ceramic separators in QuantumScape's batteries enable this high-speed charging. Additionally, Toyota claims that they're developing solid-state batteries and they could charge from 10 to 80% in 10 minutes or less. Whoa! With over a thousand patents for solid-state batteries, Toyota is leading in this technology more than any other automaker, and they're confident that achieving solid-state battery charging in 10 minutes and an electric vehicle range of 745 miles is within reach. Toyota also mentioned that they can simplify the production methods for the materials used in solid-state batteries. Additionally, Toyota noted this breakthrough will allow them to have the size, cost, and weight of EV batteries. The solid electrolyte in the solid-state batteries also has high iconic conductivity, which speeds up lithium-ion transport, thereby accelerating charging speeds. This also means significantly cut charging times. If Toyota does succeed, they will greatly reduce the time needed to recharge a vehicle to near the time it takes to refuel a gasoline car. So to launch and mass-produce solid-state batteries, how much does it cost? Clearly, solid-state batteries have been known about for many years, but only a few manufacturers have been able to make them in large quantities. QuantumScape and PowerCo are two leading producers of solid-state batteries, with QuantumScape granting PowerCo a non-exclusive license to produce these batteries. PowerCo is capable of producing up to 40 gigawatt hours of QuantumScape solid-state batteries annually. However, the production cost of solid-state batteries has not yet been disclosed. Given the progress and slow expansion, a notable example being Toyota's inability to commercialize solid-state batteries since their initial announcement in 2020, it's evident that there are going to be some hiccups. According to some sources we've investigated, solid-states are expected to cost more than 150 bucks a kilowatt hour. This high cost is attributed to the expenses related to material handling and production with low yields. There is a range of solid electrolytes being researched, and each material requires very different processing environments and conditions. The processing environment, including pressure and temperature conditions, affects the cost. The need for high pressure during production and or operation of the batteries increases the factory space costs and machine operating time. Therefore, scaling up production of solid-state batteries is going to be quite challenging. However, once these issues are addressed, similar to the initial progress of the 4680, they'll quickly become available on the market and could serve as a superior alternative to current lithium-ion battery packs. 2. Sodium-ion battery Until the affordable $25,000 car that Musk has repeatedly talked about is launched early next year is confirmed, the Model 3 is still the most budget-friendly option but its price is still more than 30 grand. We're genuinely hopeful that Elon will deliver even cheaper vehicles, and we recognize that in the long term, Tesla may not be able to solely rely on lithium-ion batteries, as they may not enable Tesla's electric vehicles to stay affordable. While lithium-ion batteries may not meet this need, sodium-ion batteries could potentially do so. These batteries are three times cheaper than lithium-ion, charge twice as fast, and are a hundred times safer. Although this might sound incredible, sodium-ion batteries could be among the first to appear at Tesla, and it wouldn't be surprising if Elon manages to introduce EVs priced under 20 grand in the near future. For those not familiar with the battery technology, sodium ion batteries basically composed of a cathode made from a material capable of holding sodium, an anode typically made from hard carbon, alloy, metal oxide, and a liquid electrolyte containing sodium atoms in ion form. The electrolyte is the liquid that lies between the cathode and anode, filling the internal volume of the cell and acting as a link between the cathode and anode, allowing sodium ions to move. Given the prominent cost advantages of sodium ion batteries, let's focus on this aspect first, as it's the primary reason for their potential use in affordable Tesla vehicles. Sodium ion batteries offer a significant advantage for all automakers, particularly as the demand for lithium is projected to increase 500-fold from current levels, with prices fluctuating unpredictably. In contrast, sodium ion batteries are expected to go down in price. According to Energy Post, the cost of sodium ion batteries is projected to drop around $40 a kilowatt hour, approaching the lowest price for any battery technology.
Why do we think that Tesla will adopt this technology? It's because they've already got a partner who's already making it. The partner is Cattle, a leading Chinese battery manufacturer who's producing sodium ion batteries at approximately $77 a kilowatt hour. However, Cattle promises that prices could fall below $40 a kilowatt hour in the future, given that this leading battery manufacturer has made significant breakthroughs in production. The price potential for sodium ion batteries is evident, especially when compared to the cheapest LFP cells on the market today, which are priced at $139 a kilowatt hour. The primary reason sodium ion batteries are so cost effective is their abundant materials. Sodium makes up about 2.6% of the Earth's crust, and the materials used for the anode in these batteries primarily consists of iron and manganese, rather than the nickel or cobalt found in lithium ion batteries. Both iron and manganese are globally abundant and are not listed among elements at risk of depletion. This widespread availability contributes to the lower cost of sodium ion batteries. Another plus of sodium ion batteries is their potential for faster charging times. Sodium ion batteries have the capability to charge more quickly compared to lithium ion batteries. For instance, Cattle claims that their sodium ion batteries can charge up to 80% in just 15 to 20 minutes, which is an improvement over Tesla's EVs, which typically take about a half hour for a similar charge. On top of that, some results indicate that sodium ion batteries could be fully charged in just a few seconds when using an anode material designed to work with supercapacitors. The electrode materials used in sodium ion batteries, like sodium compounds and carbon, have the ability to absorb and release sodium ions rapidly. This characteristic supports both fast charging and discharging processes. So, what do you think about a nearly fireproof electric vehicle battery pack? Sodium ion batteries ensure high safety standards because the cells based on this chemical element are not that flammable, meaning sodium is virtually non-combustible. Sodium ion batteries can also withstand extreme temperatures, operating in a range from minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. In contrast, lithium cells have an operating temperature range from about 0 to 50 degrees Celsius. Sodium ion batteries also have an advantage that we believe everyone will appreciate. They're less toxic than conventional batteries because they don't require lithium. However, the final limitation of sodium ion batteries is their lower energy density compared to lithium ion batteries. Sodium ion batteries still have relatively low energy density, ranging from 140 to 160 watt hours a kilo, compared to 180 to 250 watt hours a kilo for lithium ion batteries. This means Tesla EVs will have a shorter range and become heavier with a sodium ion battery. However, this isn't the final word on sodium ion batteries. Cattle's expected to soon introduce a Gen 2 version with an energy density of 200 watt hours a kilo compared to the current generation's 160 watt hours a kilo. Furthermore, a former Tesla engineer has formed his own company specializing in sodium ion batteries. He's confident that his sodium ion batteries will give a range of 300 miles, so it still holds significant potential in every aspect. 3. Condensed Cattle Battery at the Auto Shanghai exhibition, China's cattle made a significant splash by announcing the breakthrough of development of a new type of condensed battery. With an energy density of up to 500 watt hours a kilo, it far exceeds the 200 to 300 watt hours a kilo range of traditional lithium ion batteries. Cattle also mentions that this represents a 70 to 80 percent increase compared to current NCM batteries, and that's truly remarkable. Cattle's confident that if these condensed batteries are used in a standard EV today, they would increase the driving range by more than 80% without adding extra weight to the battery pack. Cattle's condensed battery uses a gel polymer electrolyte, a semi-solid component combined with solid electrolytes and new anode and separator materials. Cattle still employs this semi-solid electrolyte to fine-tune its lattice structure and adjust the interactions between the polymer chains. The company thinks that this enhances electrical conductivity and lithium-ion transport within the electrolyte while improving the stability of the microstructure, thereby increasing the battery's safety. The most obvious benefit of such high-energy density batteries is the extended range for Tesla's EVs. A cell with a 500 watt-hour per kilo replacing a cell with a 250 watt-hour kilo in a battery pack would either double the driving range of an EV with the same battery weight or cut the battery weight by half to achieve that same range. Like many other battery technologies, Cattle's known for its fast charging speeds, typically less than 20 minutes, and the condensed battery also falls within the range of 10 to 15 percent of that charging time. Regarding cost, Cattle did not disclose any info about the price of their new cells or the materials required for their production at the product launch event. They have not yet achieved a reasonable price point. This is understandable as the technology is still in its early stages and they may not have even started producing lines to estimate accurate costs.
However, considering the average price of cattle's current batteries, they remain pretty competitive compared to the general market. Overall, condensed battery is on this list of potential innovations because it's currently the highest energy density battery in the world. 4. Lithium Sulfur Battery Sulfur is a plentiful and inexpensive resource. Researchers have identified sulfur as a promising option for energy storage. When combined with lithium, sulfur can create batteries with higher energy storage capacity and lower production costs compared to current lithium-ion batteries that are used in EVs and other devices. They can achieve a theoretical energy density of around 400 to 4,500 watt-hours a kilo, significantly higher than the typical 250 watt-hours per kilo for lithium-ion batteries. The use of sulfur in a battery can provide a theoretically super high energy density or the amount of energy density that the battery can hold on a single charge. Today, EVs can go about 300 miles a charge, but a lithium sulfur battery could potentially double that or create an EV that's currently half the weight of a lithium ion powered equivalent. However, lithium sulfur batteries typically have a low charge discharge rates, often taking several hours, usually between 1 and 10 hours, for a full charge discharge cycle. However, Australian researchers have designed a new catalyst that enables the next generation of lithium sulfur batteries to be fully charged in under 5 minutes, instead of taking several hours. Not stopping there, sulfur is an inexpensive material, which can potentially lead to lower production costs for lithium sulfur batteries compared to lithium ion batteries, which uses materials like cobalt that can be expensive and subject to supply chain issues. However, two other factors that affect the delay of lithium sulfur batteries are cycle life and safety. Lithium ion batteries tend to have a longer life cycle compared to lithium sulfur batteries. Lithium sulfur batteries have historically suffered from a shorter lifespan, primarily due to the dissolution of sulfur in the electrolyte during charge and discharge cycles. It has also faced safety challenges, including issues related to the formation of lithium sulfide, which can be unstable. Ensuring the safety of lithium sulfur batteries remains a critical focus for research and development. The development of new battery technology is opening up some great opportunities for the EV industry, especially for Tesla under the leadership of Elon Musk. New generation battery technologies like solid state batteries, sodium ion batteries, cattle condensed batteries, and lithium sulfur batteries all promise to bring significant improvements in performance, range, and safety for EVs. While solid state batteries and cattle condensed batteries stand out with their huge potential for energy density and performance, technologies such as sodium ion batteries and lithium sulfur batteries are equally impressive with the lowest cost thanks to the abundance of sodium and sulfur. However, the deployment of these technologies into mass production and cutting costs are still big-time challenges that Elon needs to consider carefully. And these are the four new battery techs that Elon Musk can bring to Tesla. It's worth looking forward to, right? So, what do you think about these four batteries? Drop us a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, and God bless. Bye.